everybody, here we are again. Uh, Sunday, out for another dog walk, stroke geocaching walk. Back in the Forex flame here, uh, the Horrocks wood area. We parked up on the car park behind, which seems to be full of people. I don't quite understand that. Nice day. Let's go out, park up on a car park and sit in the car. Peach to the road, I suppose. Ready to uh, get out and go for a bit of a walk. So anyway, that's uh, by the by. So we've just set off. Not quite sure how far the first cache is. Knowing us, we've probably passed one, but we don't care. We're only going to go and find one. I think we're actually on the uh, the bridle path rather than the footpath, but I think you're allowed to walk on bridle ways. Technically, horses aren't allowed to go on footpaths, but none of them are really marked anyway, so they're not actual public rights of way. And, uh, there's just a bun bunch of land that council's put some, uh, maybe not the council, might be someone else, has put some trails through. Could be the Woodlands Trust, you never know. They do stuff like that as well. So you can come out and enjoy the woods. Or come out and wreck them as some people do. I don't understand that mentality either. Anyway, enough rambling. Don't know which one we're going to go and find. Horrocks truck, I think, is what we're going to aim for. But we'll switch you off. Get back to you in a bit. Back again. Just thought I'd show you this. Uh, this track. It looks like grey slate, but in actual fact, rubber. All chunks of rubber. Look like they might even be chunks of car tyre. Probably to be softer on horses' hooves. Nice and soft to walk on, anyway. Right, I just thought I'd show you that, so there you go. Looks like a grey stone track, but it's not. It's a grey rubber track. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Right, I barely put the GoPro away. Um, Izzy has found a trickle of water. She's dug it out to make a little bit of a pool and she's led down in it. It must be hot. Are you hot, is he? Both like a pair of steam trains. I've given uh, Belle a drink of water from the water bottle. It's a dog water bottle, it's not my water bottle. But Izzy decided to go and dig her own little pool. Right, see you a bit there. Right, here we are again. Found the cache. I'll show you the obvious feature. I won't show you the actual cache. That's the ob obvious feature. It's an old mining truck. While we're at it, Bell, let's, uh, let's show you. Here's a, a fairly clean miniature schnauzer. She's had drinks of water, still going like a steam train, because it's warm. This is the one. Not only did she do... This is Izzy. Not only did she dig her own pond, well, puddle to lie in, she found it was more mud than pond and went and waded into it and led down in it. So, guess who's having a bath when we get back? Hey? Uh, is it you going to have a bath? The clean one? Or you, the one covered in mud? Just give her a bit of a drink. Not much. She wanted even less. Right. There you go. That's the day's caching over with. Just got to finish the walk now. A bit of a sweat on. It's absolutely roasting. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's in the 20s. It's degrees centigrade. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. 
I see them look on see if I'll, I'll get the thermometer out or something like that on. see what temperature it's at right see you in a bit bye uh, I'm just going to go around this corner talking quietly because from up there towards the top of the path so what looks like a herd of deer under the trees over here probably just taking a bit of shade attacking the photo but I can't see whether that's uh, going to be any good the distance photo ok don't think we'll be able to see this there we go I'll get it on the camera here we are, Parks Wood, extremely zoomed in but we're just trying to get a bit closer. There's rather a lot of them, I'm not sure whether they're actually wild deer or deer that are being farmed. Probably won't be able to get any closer. The ground turns very rough.